밥 먹었어요? 아니요, 안 먹었어요. 오늘 바빴어요? 네, 진짜 바빴어요. 오늘 뭐 했어요? 뮤직비디오 찍었어요. Hello everyone and welcome to Talk to Me in Korean. My name is Hyunwoo and today let's look at how to make Korean sentences in the past tense. This video is for absolute beginners who have not much prior knowledge of the Korean language. So if you find this video too easy, please share it with your friends who need it and take a look around our website talktomeinkorean.com to study with systematic online Korean courses, ebooks and books. So like you saw in the short dialogue earlier, most Korean sentences in the past tense talking about something that already happened end in this soyo sound. And the rules are quite simple. You take a verb in the dictionary form, which always end with ta in Korean, again ta. Remove that ta and what's left is the verb stem. If the verb stem's last syllable is o or a, you add asoyo. Verb stems with other vowels are followed by osoyo. And hada, which means to do, becomes hesoyo. This is very similar to the present tense rules, and we posted a video about it a couple of weeks ago, so please check out that video too. So let's look at some examples. I'm going to look at these four verbs, okay? Chapta, chapta to catch or to hold, chapta, and uh, 이기다, to win in a competition, in a fight, 이기다, and 지다, to lose, and lastly, 하다, to do. The goal here is not to memorize all the words and sentences that you see in this video, but to understand how the conjugation works, okay? So, 잡다, to catch or to hold, remove 다, and you have the verb stem, 잡. And although this is just one syllable, the last vowel is a, so it's followed by asoyo. Why is it not followed by osoyo? Well, it's because asoyo is much easier to pronounce along with o or a, okay? So it becomes chab plus asoyo, chabasoyo. One more time, chabasoyo. <laughs> 잡았어요? 아니요. 잠깐만요. 잡았어요? 아니요. So that was an example of the asoyo ending, okay? Asoyo. And with verbs like ikida and chida that do not end with o or a in the verb stem, you add osoyo. Osoyo. So ikida means to win. Igi is the verb stem. You add osoyo at the end. So together it becomes igi osoyo igyosoyo. Igyosoyo. I won. They won. Somebody won. And 지다, which means to lose, is conjugated in the same way to become 지었어요, 졌어요. Who won? Who won? Who won? Who won? Who so those were some examples of 어서요. And now let's look at 하다 changing to 했어요. Okay, so originally it's 하 plus 였어요 and it becomes 했어요, but people rarely say 하였어요 in daily Korean spoken every day. So just remembering 했어요 will be enough here, okay? And as we introduced in the present tense video, 했어요 can be combined with a lot of nouns to form new verbs. And here are some examples. So, 요리하다 means to cook. And I cooked in the past tense is 요리했어요. 준비하다 means to prepare. And I prepared is 준비했어요. And 포기하다, 
포기하다 is to give up. And I gave up is 포기했어요. Okay, so that's the main thing for you to understand by watching this video. In the Korean language, of course, most sentences in the past tense used in daily conversations uh, end with 왔어요, 왔어요, or 했어요. But there are various other forms, of course, such as casual language that you speak uh, among friends and even more polite and more formal forms, okay? But those things can wait until you learn more Korean. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>밥먹었어요 아니요 안먹었어요